Hello, it has been a hot minute. I got halfway through filming this vlog and realised I've never actually filmed an intro. And since the last time I uploaded a video on this channel was, I think, in March, I feel like I should have probably filmed an intro for this vlog. So, hello, welcome back. It's been a while. A few things have happened in the last few months in my life that made me not really want to, or well, I wasn't really in the headspace to upload to YouTube. And also I wasn't reading as much as I usually, or as I used to. And to be honest, that's changed now. I've been on a real reading kick again, which makes me so happy because that's one of the joys of my life. It's probably my biggest hobby and the one I pursue the most in my free time. So I'm so happy it's part of my life properly again and as much as I want it to. So I really wanted to film a reading vlog. This one's actually very Christmassy, which is fun. I am determined to upload this around Christmas time, maybe Christmas day or Boxing Day, something like that, we'll see. I've actually got quite a busy Christmas, or not busy, but we've got uh, friends or family really coming over from Australia and just like a normal family coming over, which is really, really fun. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna film of that, if anything, because obviously that's, I don't know, my family's Christmas. We'll see. I don't really want to talk too much, so we're just going to throw back to past Chelsea talking about the books that we're going to read. I'm in the middle of two books. Um, I am reading The Body Keeps the Score. I've been reading this for quite a while, but I actually initially I wanted to read like a chapter a night or a chapter every morning or something like that. But I just kind of fell off the wagon and now I got the audiobook as well from Libby and I've been finding it so much easier to read it while listening to the audiobook as well um, because it's obviously super dense and super it's like an info dump honestly I can't <laughs> describe it any other way it's still easy to digest not that the topic is at all maybe I should tell you if you've somehow don't know what this book is about actually this little sub blurb on here describes it pretty well it says brain mind and body in the healing of trauma um, this doctor, his name is Bessel van der Kolk, MD. I think he's Dutch. It's him telling the reader stories of several of his patients um, and the trauma that they have experienced in their lives. And it's then sort of explaining the brain side of that trauma, I want to say. So it's telling you why the body or why your mind acts the way it does in the aftermath of trauma and it's super 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 interesting um it's also super heavy obviously last night I was sat on the sofa <laughs> crying at this um but just if you want to pick it up bear in mind it is super heavy but this is such a beautiful book I really like the colorway and it's so floppy it's so nice um but yeah I am 150 pages into it I've only got the um audiobook for a couple of more days so I really want to get to it We'll finish it and also i picked up bright young women by jessica knows that her name i don't know um this is actually my friend anna's copy but i also have this on audiobook and i really wanted to have the physical book as well because i thought that it might be easier to read that way or easier to fully absorb the story like that also because this is told in several timelines as i know there's two in the past and one present one but i'm not sure if that's all if there's going to be more um, it says, Bright Young Woman is an extraordinary novel inspired by the real-life sorority targeted by America's first celebrity serial killer in his final murderous spree. But honestly, reading that, I wasn't that interested in it. But this is more focused on the women and their experiences and their feelings and their also trauma as well. <laughs> uh, it's so well written actually I'm not sure where I am at the moment in the book because I have started reading it oh I'm probably about 100 pages in I'd say so far I'm actually loving this sorry the postman's just been so if the camera angle or anything has changed that's why but I just got a very exciting parcel that I think maybe we can open together because it is actually book related I got a kindle I hope I just didn't put my address on here. This is so exciting. I was grappling with this for a while. I didn't want to necessarily support Amazon 
And obviously, if you go buy a Kindle, you have to buy your books through Amazon. But the thing that I really wanted this for primarily is because you can send your Libby books to your Kindle. And I really, really like that. <laughs> and obviously, you can't do that with any other e readers. I had a um, like the German equivalent of a Kobu. Is it called Kobu? Kobo? I don't know. You know, the other the e reader that isn't a Kindle. And obviously you can't do that with those. Um, so I sold the other one and now I've got a Kindle. This is just like the classic one. It's not paper wire or anything. And you can also send your NetGalley uh, advanced readers copies on here. So it's just very convenient, really. Let's see. Ooh, it's tiny. me doing ASMR. This is so, this is like perfect. I can really see myself, I can really see myself reading with this. Um, this is so cool because look, I have got this, wait, let me actually just get it one second. So I've got this Harry Styles Love on Tour pop socket, which I got last year when we had this uh, VIP package, like early entry thing. And I never was going to use this on my actual phone because to be fair, I've got a pop socket on here, but I didn't want to put a Harry Styles one on there. No shame if you do, fair enough, I love that for you, but that's just not me. Even though I am a Harry Styles girly through and through, I breathe and live for that man uh i didn't want to put it on my phone <laughs> so but i feel like this is gonna be cute uh no one's gonna see this actually no scratch that i think it's cool as fuck if you have a harry styles pop sock on your phone okay this is such a vibe can you see me reading like this with a little pop socket i can also i'm going away to tokyo in australia in two months two and a half months so i can just really see myself on the beach like this love that this is so exciting uh so yeah i have talked for a long long time i need to actually get my shit together and go into town because i still need to buy two christmas presents and oh, and a box to put another christmas present in and i've got a little voucher for the bookstore so i'm gonna go there as well if you want to you can come along it'll be fun the town trip was successful but so busy obviously it would have been it's a Saturday in December so I don't know what I was thinking to be fair I wasn't really thinking about it but I had to go today um I got the box for my secret Santa I'm gonna put all my stuff in there and then book wise I got the it's called abroad in Japan because like I said me and my family are going to Tokyo in February which is so actually we're going to australia to see family and friends and we obviously have to stop over somewhere so we're making like a little trip out of that as well and i really advocated for that to be tokyo because that's kind of been my number one actually my number two travel destination i'd say my number one is alaska <laughs> which i'm not sure how realistic actually dream big yeah i'm gonna go there sorry i've got this like um motion sensor light if that's annoying i'm sorry maybe we'll make it to alaska one day uh, i've got my whole life so anyway i bought this book called abroad in japan 10 years in the land of the rising sun i actually have this on my goodreads list this light is really changing all the time isn't it i'm sorry um it's about a man from england and he's been living in japan for 10 years and he is a teacher there i believe so he's just kind of talking about his experiences there and 
um, funny anecdotes. I hope it's not very humour heavy because I don't find funny books funny ever. Like the Goodreads Choice Awards, the humour category is my idea of hell. That's my bookish hell. Um, so I hope that doesn't fall into that category. Oh, there's even some Japanese writing in here, which up in on my Japanese Duolingo shit. I'm on 120 day streak. I've been doing it every day. And let me tell you, learning Japanese is not easy. <laughs> There's no similarities to any language that I already speak, which is only German and English. It, I was gonna say it's like learning a new language, but it literally is. Uh, anyway, I am going to have some lunch. I've got leftovers and I need to clean up the dishes. This is what I have to deal with. I also need to clean my flat, just Hoover and stuff. And then I'm going to have a Christmassy afternoon. I'm going to wrap some presents and put on a Christmas movie, I think. Not sure which one yet, whatever's on Netflix or Prime or whatever, we'll see. But it's going to be cute. And then I'm gonna, as a reward, finally set my Kindle because I've not even opened it uh, I've not even turned it on yet and I'm so excited to so I'll show you that when I get to it okay wait show you so these are most of them i've got two more coming and one's coming to my parents house already it's at my parents house but i just put it under my little <laughs> baby christmas tree that i've got here and yeah very happy that i've got everything sorted it's the fifth no it's the 16th today so not bad going i think having all of your christmas presents done and most of them wrapped. I'm happy with that. So now I can finally do what we're looking forward to. Let me just mute the movie. Um, there we go. I can finally set up my Kindle properly. I just wanted to discuss with you, I guess, what to read on here first. The options are endless. <laughs> Obviously, like I said, the one thing that I was really excited for is um, that you can now, or well, I can now, read the um, NetGalley books that I've gotten, got, gotten approved for on NetGalley as an ARC. That was a very convoluted sentence. Anyway, <laughs> I can finally read them now on my Kindle, so. I've got the new Kylie Reid, which is, as you can see, the author of uh, Such a Fun Age. So that is an option. I don't know if you could hear my stomach then <laughs> crumbling. I'm not even hungry. Um, but it is tagged as literary fiction and LGBTQIA. I'm guessing it's gonna be like a student professor sort of story, which that's probably the reason that I did um, request this because that's quite interesting to me. Other than that, let's just look on my Libby. I'll just show you on my phone. Um, like I said, I'm listening to The Body Keeps the Score simultaneously. Uh, I'm reading it. Also started a very nice girl. I'm 26% into that. That's an audiobook as you can see. <laughs> this the blue bottle craft of coffee is something that I just I don't know, I saw it and I just it was available to borrow, so I just got it. Um as you might know, I'm very into coffee and it's quite interesting to be honest. I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish it though. I've only got four more days of it. And this is the other like contender which is the deluge by stephen markley um i read his other book ohio and i actually really enjoyed it it's very much literary fiction um it's definitely written by a man 
I feel like you can tell that in the writing. Anyway, I think I'm just gonna send both of those to my Kindle and then see. I should probably be sensible and start the Libby book first because I've only got a couple of, I've only got 12 more days and it's like a almost 1000 page book. So I'm definitely not going to finish that in 12 days. Actually, mm, I'm not, not with Christmas being like a week away. <laughs> But I'm just going to send them both and then we shall see. I'm probably going to start it though. It's a couple of days later, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm also in a little bit of a rush, but I still wanted to do a little book update before I go to my parents' house, and I'm not sure how much I'll be able to film there, especially the book updates, but I am all packed. Wait, where's my bags here? I am all packed, as you can see. Look how nice, I've got these little reflective stars that do like rainbow colors on your, Oh, look how nice this looks. This is like my little record uh, corner. But look, it's all pretty. I love it. It's always kind of this time of day, um, like early afternoon, when the, when the light is really, really nice. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And now let me put you down somewhere and then we can talk about books. I'm not sure if it's too bright here, like the light is a little bit weird, but we're just going to go with it, okay? I've not got much time. So I did actually finish The Body Keeps the Score this morning. Um, I really wanted to finish it before I go to my parents, firstly because uh, this is not a very Christmassy book. I feel like the light really is a bit strange. I hope it's not too annoying. This is not a very Christmassy book. It's obviously super, super heavy and I did know that going into it. So I kind of knew what I was in for, but some of these, especially, obviously there's a lot of um, accounts from his patients and they're telling, uh, or he's telling the stories of their traumas and things that have kind of manifested from their traumas and things that they didn't know was uh, were connected. And some of these trauma stories were just so intense, it would obviously make sense. Um, but yeah, that was the reason I didn't really want to take it for my Christmas break. I did actually cry quite a few times just because it's so horrible, these things that have happened to these people, but it's also so beautiful and like encouraging to know that they did find treatment that worked for them. But I'm not going to go into all of their traumatic stories because I feel like that's just a bit too heavy for a silly little reading vlog. <laughs> And I don't want to, this might be triggering for someone watching this, I don't know. Um, but all in all, this was so, so, so good. Obviously, I don't think anyone has ever read this and thought, this is just all right. I think everyone loves this. If you are ready for it, if you are able to read this, if you've got like, headspace for it, I would definitely uh, recommend it. It's great. It's very informative, but dense. And then... I am about 258 pages, so I've got about 110, 120 pages left, so I'm going to try and finish this over Christmas. Um, bright young women, that is. This is so, 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 so good. I can see this being a five star. Um, I know, so this is obviously the book that my friend Anna lent me, and I know that when she first read it, we talked about this being the Ted Bundy case and the Somehow I forgot about it. It is in fact Ted Bundy's story or his cases, his murders. 
Then I'm actually name him, which I do appreciate because I don't think he needs any more airtime uh, ever again. But this is focusing on the survivors of his murders. This um, there's three timelines actually. No, I'm showing four. There's three timelines. There are two timelines that are set in the 70s, and then there's one in sort of present day. I think it's 2021. Um, but there's only two people who we follow. So one of them we follow in present day and in the 70s, which is Pamela, and she is. Um, part of the sorority that Ted Bundy um, where he killed two girls and brutally injured two more three more and this is focusing on these surviving girls in that sorority and that is the Pamela storyline and there's the Ruth storyline who is another girl that well, I don't want to get too much into it. I don't want to spoil anything because I do think this is such a good read specifically for people i don't want to i used to be into true crime like everyone i think but i'm just really not anymore first of all i feel like the older i get the more sensitive i get to things like that and also i don't know if i agree with the whole concept of like true crime podcasts and stuff um but that's a whole different story anyways um <laughs> i can't wait to finish this soon and i would honestly be surprised if i didn't rate this five stars four four stars at least um that's everything i really need to go now and i will see i don't know when but probably sometime before christmas hello it is boxing day i don't think i filmed anything i've just come home from my parents house um after christmas and i had such a lovely time it was so 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 nice but did I film anything? No. I was just busy because we had family and extended family and friends there. Um, it was like a big Christmas this year for us. Um, I think I actually filmed the tree and the table just before we had dinner. Uh, if I did, I'm going to pop it here. But it was so lovely. It was very nice and cosy. Um, thanks, Dad, for what? Uh, if, thanks for watching. Thanks, Dad, if you're watching. For putting everything on I appreciate it very much I had a lovely time but I unfortunately didn't even finish my book because I was so busy having a nice time uh, spending time with other people I was not really in my room by myself reading but I did read a little bit I am about I hope this plant's not annoying you by the way uh, I'm not gonna move it <laughs> I'm about 70 pages from the end of Bright Young Women and honestly I can't I feel like I've said this before, I can't see myself not giving this book five stars. Uh, something would have to go really wrong in the last 70 pages for me to not do that. But I can see this being one of my favourite books I've read all year, which is so exciting. I love when it happens, especially like right before the end of the year. Um, but I guess we'll have to find out. I'm definitely going to do a favourite book of 2023. It's probably going to be the video after this. Um, we'll see if it pops up in there i don't know how other people that talk about books on youtube do this but i always find it the further i get into a book i find it harder and harder to talk about it because you obviously don't want to spoil anything you don't want to say too much but then again i'm happy with people not telling me anything but the basic plot and then just updating on their progress and how they are feeling about the book anyway i just got ready for bed as you can probably tell so i'm now going to have my tea edit this vlog and then finish this book hopefully so basically i'm just gonna have a very relaxing evening which is all that i want as always thank you so much for watching i know it's been a while i hope the next one isn't gonna take me as long we'll see i am about to start a new job so we'll have to see i hope you had a lovely christmas if you celebrated if you didn't i hope you had some lovely relaxing calm days either way thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time bye